Hey guys, this is Sunny Dove here. And this is Xenox. And this is uh, my gameplay. This is not Xeno. So prepare for me to play the tank very uh, embarrassingly badly on the PC. But uh, it's okay because it all works out. Yes, and um, while we're watching Sunny Dove's gameplay, we'll also talk about some things that he can change for the better and maybe things that he has done right. And. Well, as you can see, that far, <laughs> he was trying to fly up there, but um, I think the... I'm not exactly sure on the PC, because on the 360 you can walk off a ledge and then jetpack upwards. I mean, does that apply for the PC as well? What, are you talking about the tank jump? Uh, yeah, the tank jump. Yeah, you can do that. I'm just not very good at it, so I don't I don't often do it in uh, real game situations. It's just not yes. part of my uh, skill set, not my repertoire. <laughs> Not comfortable yet, but I'm sure Sunny yeah. Dove, with given amount of time, he will soon reach that mastery level where everybody will just be simply amazed. <laughs> yeah, Even... I guess. Uh, <laughs> we should probably explain a little bit about like what my experience is, so your subscribers have an idea like where I'm coming from, because mm. uh, I haven't really played nearly as long as you. That's true, but still, I think you should give yourself an introduction here about uh, your experiences, so we have a better idea then. All right, um, I've got. About a month of the, on the, okay, I played the Xbox 360 version for about a month, and then they announced the PC beta, so I went ahead and hopped on that, and I played the beta lightly for a while until they fixed a bunch of the bugs, and then once they had fixed most of the bugs, I played the beta very heavily, and now I'm playing it at full release, uh, playing the PC pretty regularly, and I'll still hop on the 360 with you every once in a while, so... <laughs> oh yes, um, I already uploaded the games we played, and people do quite enjoy them. And then the one, I believe, one commenter was asked, was saying like, you know, like, why you weren't uploading in videos? And then he found out it's because you're playing with me. So you know, it looks like our little secret love has been discovered by the community, and hopefully they don't blog about this no longer. Yeah, I guess they found us out. I mean, it has nothing to do with the fact that I've been sick for a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course not. And but. Wow, here is a grapple kill. Got a Ching! <laughs> and a clutch, clutch passive. Yeah. Extremely well done, I'd say. It's, did I just uh, say clutch grapple? I think I did. Oh, I, I think Clutch so. passive. You got clutch it. Clutch right. passive, yeah. The clutch passive is really well. Uh, really a very really useful skill. And um, you only get to do it twice if you only have level 1, you know, from going to level 2 and level 3. And um, sometimes you might screw up and you die, but uh, when you do succeed, succeed using it at the correct time, it really does pay off. Definitely. Um, I know we've talked about it a little bit in the past, and you haven't always been uh, one to rely on the clutch passive. And, and I, I, I will give you this. Sometimes I'll, I'll reach for it, and it's not there, and I'm like, shit. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go in there and hit, you know, hit the button sequence yeah, yeah, yeah. and do it, and I've got no passives left. <laughs> that's rather unfortunate, and I think that's just kind of the thing I was talking about. Cause I feel like it's definitely a useful skill. It's something to, you know, keep in mind of. But you know, to be really too reliant on it might cause some problems. Just like in that scenario you have mentioned. But that's just my two cents. I mean, I never find myself to rely on it. There are times, once in a while, where I'll be like, I need it now, and I have it. So I'll, you know, I I usually have a four hundred dollars between level three charge. And level three passive, just because you know I want to make sure that if the scenario does arise, I, I have it you know to save myself with it. But um, usually I don't find myself needing it just because the general players that I play against just don't seem to <laughs> re require such a such a clutch clutchful skill. Mm -hmm. And I uh, also noticed the jetpack uh, timer. Yeah, uh, the jump jets on the gunner and tank are on a cooldown on the PC. And um, I'm pretty certain that's a PC only change. Uh, Econaut and Scathus have both said that it's not coming to the 360. So mm -hmm. that's good news. There's a lot of 360 players are extremely worried because they think the Gunner class itself is just unplayable. <laughs> no, the Gunner's been buffed up. Um, even with even with the reduced mobility, I feel like they've done a good job of giving them. They gave them an increased grapple. Their grapple on the PC is the strongest in the game, um, barring assassins. Hmm, that is actually actually is really good. I mean, I know understand a lot of uh, competitive gaming that uh, the gunner skill set might not seem useful at all, but still, it is a skill. And um, just for playing just in pub games, you no, know, they really do help 
And it's a lot of fun too. I mean, come on, don't you want to grab someone and smack them with your mini gun? <laughs> yeah, they uh, you know how you have to upgrade on on the 360, you have to upgrade it to level three in order yes. to get the throw. Yes. Okay, well, they, at level two it becomes a throw. Oh my on goodness. On the PC, and I'm sure that's a, that's probably a change that'll come. Yeah, to I think 360. That's... I think that's a more consistent grapple up skill upgrade because I think the gunner is the only one with a skill grapple that's not like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so we'll definitely see that for sure on the 360. But you will not see this jump pack nerf um, most likely for the tank and the gunner. So be uh, rest assured, your uh, your your heavy classes will remain the same. But you know, if you feel like that you want to step up your game a little and just play with a different settings then try the PC version out and I can assure you it's completely different although it's the same game so um to segue into the next topic I kind of want to talk to you about a little bit about the railgun here and you'll see I pretty much just take pop shots all the time I'm not very good with it um, I used to be a lot better on the 360 with it and mm -hmm. you would think I'd be awesome with the PC um, with the increased uh, you know Yes. Precision aiming with the mouse, but I just suck with it. I don't know what the deal is. Like I don't run a very high sensitivity. I have a I have a nice mouse, but um, I okay, take my so. sensitivity down to like 15. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in the end game sensitivity mm. slider thing. So yes, okay. So one thing people need to realize on the Xbox 360, there's like aim assist, meaning that you aim at a general direction and then your cursor will be dragged onto the target. Ah, that's very true. Because generally, aiming in the 360 is difficult for a lot of gen like uh, beginning players, so they have aim assist automatically installed in the game. So, so it, a lot of times it, w it appears to be easier to aim for the 360 because of that. Another thing is, I think the I think it's just really getting used to the to the reticle because I like I, right now I'm looking at the reticle for the PC. And I feel like it's a bit a lot bigger than the 360, you know. But that's just. That's just uh, that's just a guess though. And uh, mm -hmm. lastly, the, the the last thing is I'm just guessing is you're just not as used to the PC mouse and keyboard like all the other PC players have been gaming. You know, they be, definitely been gaming on PC for a long time, and therefore they're all used to the mouse and keyboard. Similarly, with players on the Xbox 360 controller, if they just go into a different shooter genre, their control schemes is really all. All you know, all used to it. They're used to it already, and so it's just getting used to the game mechanics, and then they're good to go. So I think I think it's, there's there's still a lot of adaptation for you to do, and and the one thing I like to stress is that even if you miss with your railgun, it still makes a huge difference because they you're under they're under pressure and they're under fire, so even if you miss, they still will get out of the area and try to avoid it, and here is a really nice juice run. <laughs> oh my goodness, how is that only a triple kill? I 70, don't know. 70, $75, I believe that's round the horn and not a triple kill. It must be a misprint on the screen. I have that happen on the 360 as well. That uh, could be, I'm not sure. It, I, I have, definitely killed four though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So $75 is around the horn. Don't be, don't be, don't be tricked by the by the by the game, he got around the horn, so that was amazing. <laughs> the game is a lie. <laughs> More or less, sometimes. Oh my goodness! As you guys can see, with the tank, you really want to do your level three charge. Get to, get that to level three first, charge them, and then they're pretty much done for. Demonstrated once again by Sunny Dove, the Bacon Master. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've watched all your. Uh, I think you've done one tank strategy video, and yes. um, I think you favor the. Death Blossom, Blossom, then Charge, yes, and I favor I the Charge, then Death Blossom. Uh, I think the reason, because on the Xbox, you can't really move your charges as yeah. you just done there. So on the th on the PC for your Charge, you can aim and curve, curve around, go oh. for them, and then... Oh, my God. Dude, report it to Steam for cheating. This is on call for... <laughs> charge you 3 is... Uh... <laughs> Yes, definitely not fair, but back to the topic. I think the for the 360, it's easier to death blossom and then charge because you want to because that charge only goes straight, so you want to aim that well. Uh, while on the PC version, like there, you can charge, aim when you hit them, and then you can death blossom. Either way, both works. Both really works, and it's really, it's really up to preference too. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not advocating every situation you should first charge, but yeah, um, definitely. I just tend to use that more. Um, mm. 
But I, I agree. I think that does. That's what it comes down to. Is uh, as you can see, I can chase people down with my charge. And some <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I, <laughs> you can never do that on the 360. I'll tell you that right now. The way you charge there, it was just like it's just like a caterpillar just going through like like <laughs> like Alice in Wonderland and just just bypass all the guards and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. Insane. You know, Xbox now. Very amazing. Nah. It's fun. Trust, trust, trust me, it's fun. Uh, it is very awesome just charging around like that. Yes, and which brings up to another point. Like, you know, you can clearly see the charge is really powerful on the PC version. So the damage reduction for the charge and all that other nerf for the tank charge is not going to be on the 360 either, just because the way the PC control scheme works. Right. So, anyway, I guess. Um, Bringing this video to a close, it was really fun talking with you, Zeno, and I'm really thankful for you letting me be on your channel. Um, if you guys would like to check me out, I'm sure there will be a link in the description and perhaps in, uh, in, in an annotation on the screen. Um, mm -hmm. I pretty much do very similar things to Zeno, uh, lots of commentary, and uh, I play both the 360 and PC versions, but I only record the PC. So there you go. Hopefully that answered your questions. Yep, and uh, we'll certainly, certainly see more of us doing duo commentaries as we bring you the best of Monday Night Combat. So um, I would like to wrap this up, and I'd like to thank all the viewers, and also thank thank Sunny Dove giving me the honor to talk with him, and then um, share Monday Night Combat gameplay. So I guess we'll see you next time on our channels. Later.